Thank you one and all, and God bless America. The start of our 95th year last August began with your selection of our national officers, highlighted by the election of National Commander Ron Houghton. The combat-wounded Army veteran of Vietnam has brought that necessary blend of strength and charisma to this position, leading our organization through what turned into a challenging year for veterans' advocacy. Commander Hope has worked tirelessly to rally our membership's grassroots support around our top legislative priorities and to bring veterans' causes to the forefront of the American conscience. As a nation, we must ensure that the needs of all veterans are met. In February, DAV and DAV Auxiliary members reignited the flame of Operation Keep the Promise, braving frigid temperatures to carry a loud, resounding message to Congress. Keep the promise! Before Commander Hope delivered his testimony before the House and Senate Veterans Affairs Committees, DAV and Auxiliary leaders and members rallied with him to call for long-term changes to ensure veterans are never again caught in the health care crisis like we saw uncovered in 2014. Commander Hope also drew focus on our two main legislative priorities for the year, caregivers, caregivers and women, women veterans, veterans, and our efforts to bring about changes in policy that will better address the needs of these two groups. Last September, DAV released its groundbreaking report on gaps in care for women veterans, entitled, Women Veterans, The Long Journey Home. The tremendous support DAV received for this report has carried throughout the entire year, sparking numerous congressional hearings and even spurring the introduction of seven bills in the House of Representatives and the Senate. In April, DAV members and advocates came to Washington to voice support for the Military and Veteran Caregiver Services Improvement Act, a bill meant to improve national programs, policies, and services to America's 5.5 million military and veteran caregivers. DAV's service department continues to live up to the legacy of being the best in the business. Our mobile service offices visited 922 sites in 2014 and interviewed more than 23,000 claimants. Our transition service officers filed more than 17,000 claims last year and helped ensure nearly 40,000 transitioning veterans were aware of their earned benefits. Between all 3,815 department, chapter, transition, and national service officers, DAV helped veterans and family members obtain more than $3.7 billion in new and retroactive benefits. We've also adopted a new state-of-the-art interactive training platform to keep our national service officers up to date on all things related to benefits and compensation. The service department has also made strides to revamp our already highly impactful disaster relief program, doubling the amount of funds available to veterans in need. This year, Natural disasters once again devastated communities in Alabama, Nebraska, Oklahoma, South Dakota, Alaska, Texas, Illinois, Kentucky, and Kansas, but dedicated DAV and DAV auxiliary members were there to step in and aid their fellow veterans on the ground. Our membership department has, once again, made tremendous strides in meeting recruiting goals set forth for the year. As we again exceeded our national objectives, it's clear our members and service officers have been aggressively working to ensure continued strength for our organization. We will look this year to push past a new milestone to build a sustained membership of 1.3 million voices representing our cause. For 2014, DAV devoted more than $42 million to various voluntary service initiatives. This year, DAV's nearly 9,000 Transportation Network volunteers traveled more than 24 million miles, provided more than 716,000 free rides, and donated over 1.7 million hours to veterans, a value equivalent to nearly $39 million. Additionally, our local Veterans Assistance Program, LVAP, reported over 470,000 volunteer hours for 2014 providing invaluable services to their local communities and veterans. DAV's newest initiative, our National Employment Program, has doubled in scale since it was established last year. The Employment Department is executing a busy schedule of more than 70 all-veteran career fairs across the nation, 
offering military personnel, veterans, and spouses the opportunity to directly engage with employers who know the value of hiring those who've served. Since this initiative began last June, our career fairs have drawn in more than 27,000 job seekers, with an average of 60 plus employers per event, and most impressively, roughly 120 plus job offers per event. The DAV Charitable Service Trust supports dozens of unique organizations that provide injured and ill veterans things like rehabilitative and emotional therapy, transition assistance, employment support, as well as emergency relief funding. In 2014, the Trust issued more than $6.4 million in grants to support these kinds of programs and services. Additionally, the Trust is now part of Amazon Smile, through which Amazon donates a portion of each purchase to the user's favorite charity. It's a simple way our supporters can help create a more fulfilling life for veterans and their families. Among the wounded, ill, and injured veterans at the National Disabled Veterans Winter Sports Clinic in Snowmass, Colorado, our 2015 Freedom Award recipient, Army veteran Alan Babin, stood out as a shining example of how adaptive winter sports can make a difference in the lives and recoveries of participants. As a combat medic in Iraq, Alan rushed in to render aid to a fellow soldier, only to be hit by enemy fire. Critically wounded, he developed an infection and suffered a severe stroke, leaving him paralyzed. The clinic has been a life-changing experience for Alan and his family, and he returns each year with a positive outlook, an unbeatable spirit, and the determination to succeed. Three, two, one. The DAV 5K is ramping up for this coming Veterans Day weekend by expanding to a new location. This year, in addition to races in downtown Cincinnati and San Diego on November 7th, DAV will be hosting the Run to Honor Veterans in Atlanta on November 14th. With this year's additional help from the Department of Georgia, we're anticipating a phenomenal turnout for the 2015 race series, giving DAV significant outreach opportunities and the chance to raise awareness about our services to veterans. DAV is always looking for innovative ways to deliver our message of the service and support we provide to veterans and their families. In 2014, an opportunity to partner with Phoenix International Raceway during Veterans Day weekend presented itself. The DAV 200, Honoring America's Veterans, was our very first sponsored NASCAR event and reached a television audience of nearly 1.9 million viewers and a radio audience of more than 4 million listeners. DAV has become increasingly more present in the social sphere, topping one million fans on Facebook and expanding our name and message across social media platforms like Twitter and Periscope. This year, DAV became the top rated Facebook page among veteran charities. Leading up to Veterans Day, DAV launched its online Thank a Vet digital campaign that helped thousands create customized videos honoring the veterans in their lives and reached millions of people through social networks. All right, he wants to pull it up, I'll take this side, you take that side, it works. Fans of the History Channel may have also seen a familiar DAV face flash across the television screens last year as our very own Commander Hope made his debut on the network's hit show, American Pickers, throughout the Veterans Day timeframe. As a means of spreading the DAV message, Commander Hope teamed up with host Mike Wolf to pick some Vietnam-era military gear. Thank you for allowing me to come along. It's yeah. been great. I Thank think we that. found some great items to go in the DAV Museum. Let's round them all up. Let's get them all together. I think the emotional value of the items that we found today are, are priceless. You might combine them someplace, but you can never replace them, and you can never replace the memories that they bring. As always, our friends and allies in the DAV Auxiliary have had a busy year under the guidance of Commander Leanne Carg and National Adjutant Pat Kemper. The Auxiliary has not only helped raise funds for youth scholarships, service support programs, Camp Corral, and the National Disabled Veterans Winter Sports Clinic, but they have continued their unmatched, dedicated service to local community veterans. After 17 years of work and planning, last year disabled veterans saw the dedication of a memorial honoring their service and lifelong sacrifice at the American Veterans Disabled for Life Memorial in Washington, D.C. 
And earlier this year, it was announced that DAV would assume administrative and operations support for the Disabled Veterans for Life Memorial Foundation. Alongside the National Park Service, we will work to ensure this remarkable monument remains, as it is, a lasting reminder of the men and women who have sacrificed so much through their service. DAV has continued to gain momentum throughout the last year with a dedicated network of members, volunteers, and supporters working ever vigilantly to keep our organization invigorated with new ideas and fresh opportunities to engage. I'm proud of all we've accomplished over the past year. I'm exceptionally proud of our tremendous DAV and auxiliary community, and I look forward to another year serving side by side with you, working together to keep our promises to America's veterans and their families.